Hey guys, this is Goldie here, and in this video, I'll show you how you can use Google Apps Script to fetch a message ID of a specific message in Gmail. So, as you see on my screen, there is a question which is uh, asked today on uh, G Suite uh, or Google Cloud Community, where G Suite customers and partners collaborate. And the question simply is that earlier in the old Gmail version, uh, there used to be the message ID at the end of the uh, URL when you are in your Gmail uh, which is not there anymore in uh, in the new version and let me show you what he means so if I go to my uh, mailbox and this is the new version so if I click on for example this email if you see there is no message ID in the in the whole uh, message but if you go to the classic or the old version of Gmail you will see that for the same message there is a message ID which uniquely identifies this specific message so the question is how can uh, we get that same message ID for different purposes even with the new uh, version so I just put together a quick script for this and I wanted to share that with you so I'll go to the script editor and all you need to do is uh, just copy the script and run it and by the way this is not for everybody it, this this is for a very specific use case so if you might have that so what you're gonna do is I'll put the script uh, under this video or on my website just copy the script and then you will create a for example new Google sheet uh, in your Gmail or G Suite and let's name this uh, for reference message fetcher maybe and then you will go to your script editor under tools and simply remove the default script that it has and put the one which you uh, copied so I'll remove this and paste the one that I have here and then I'll maybe name this so I'll say Gmail uh, or maybe message ID uh, fetcher I'll click OK <coughs> so now you would click here uh, under this functions tab and click on on open and run it this is the first time you're going to run this function so it will ask you to review the permissions click on that uh, review it and then uh, because this function is local to you you're not using anybody else so you should be just clicking on your email ID and give the required permissions okay and you will allow that and once you do that we will come here and click on run again on on open and once that runs you can go back to your sheet and you should see that under add-ons it should have added this add-on called message ID fetcher now what you can do is simply click on get message ID and it will ask you for the subject of email and when you provide that it will return you the uh, message ID so now I'll go to my mailbox and maybe I'll just copy the subject of the email which is sent with three I see the message ID here and ideally I should get the same message ID ending up in 108 so I'll come here and enter the subject of the message when I click OK it's gonna give me the message ID in case if you have multiple messages with the same subject then uh, you it will loop so when you click OK you will get the next one with the subject of the email and the message ID so I uh, hope it's helpful if you have any questions feel free to put under this video and I'll be happy to help thank you so much